Hello everyone, this is MJPW Gaming, and this is quite a different video, and if you're stopping in on my channel, I mainly do gaming videos, obviously, because of gaming. However, I haven't really been motivated enough to do actual gaming videos, so I've been kind of motivated throughout this long day, and today is October 7th. Not sure when this video will come out, but this is the sort of Szechuan day, that the big day that the Szechuan sauce was coming back to McDonald's. Now, if you click on this video you're probably wondering what in the world is the Szechuan sauce or you're a Rick and Morty fan that just wants to hear somebody ramble about how they trying to get some Szechuan sauce and so I'm gonna kind of go with both of those parties I'm gonna explain a little bit about that if you don't want to hear it you can skip to this number so the Szechuan sauce it originally came out to promote the Mulan movie and it was in 1998 McDonald's is offering tender crispy chicken McNuggets and a new Szechuan sauce However, it did not last very long, and in fact, it never came back until now. Recently, the show Rick and Morty has made this insanely popular because of their episode 1 for season 3 that premiered on April Fool's Day, and I gotta say, it fooled me. I didn't think it was actually out, but it was streaming on Adult Swim's website. The episode is called The Rick Shank Redemption, and in this episode, he is sort of trapped inside of his mind to keep it sort of basic, and in his thoughts, he can remember that he went to McDonald's to get some Szechuan sauce with some McNugget. And he, in this episode, actually explained where it came from with the Mulan movie in 1998. There was a little bit where Rick actually rants about his Szechuan sauce and how he needs to get it back. And I'll, and I'll, I'll go out and I'll find some more of that Mulan Szechuan teriyaki dipping sauce, Morty. That, because that's, that's what this is all about, Morty. And so, of course, with the spark of this episode, of course, it sparked a ton of people wondering, what does this Szechuan Szechuan tastes like. A lot of people did say that it probably tasted a whole lot like sweet and sour and barbecue I want to say mixed together and a lot of people said it's like a sweeter but like with a kick. However I have no idea but I did travel two hours out of my way because it was the only McDonald's that was offering it. The only one within my radius was two hours away and I can't say much because there was actually people that was there at the event that actually was there from a longer distance and they themselves did not get any either. The funny thing was because depending on the time zone and whatever McDonald's was that was offering this deal, the embargo, I guess you would call it, was at 2 o'clock where they could officially start selling them and start the line up. So I went there with a friend and we got there about 10 o'clock our time and the bad thing is we thought that maybe nobody else would be there and then we didn't even bother about going inside because we thought it was just a first come first serve which they advertised and they told us several times however no they was actually giving out poker chips to whatever that person was and all they had to do was just walk in and be like, hey, are you guys doing the promotion? But we didn't think about going in until a little bit later. It was about an hour or so. And so by that point, you can probably guess I was really screwed. I myself, my spot in line was number 40. You can probably imagine how my side went. And so when I figured out that I was number 40 in line, I already had accepted that I would not be getting any of the sauces. However, they were also giving out some potions posters and some stickers. So I was thinking if I could get Szechuan anything, like if it just said Szechuan, I would be okay. Because again, I took a two hour trip to get out to there to try and get the Szechuan sauce. And so going back to the night before, I actually called this McDonald's and said, hey, are you guys doing this? Are you doing anything with it? And they basically sounded like they read off something off of like a pamphlet and said exactly what they had. They said that they had the posters, they had the stickers, and they also had the sauce and they had 20 packets and each order of like 10 of the tenders you would get two of the sauces and so right away I was thinking oh yeah this is gonna be great. Little did I know there is actually more Rick and Morty fans than I expected that was in Alabama and so this McDonald's that it was at it wasn't in a big city or anything it was just like a little like it almost seemed hidden and it was super like outdated like it looks like the ones like back in the 1990s. It pretty much 
looks like one of them that might have served this sauce at one point. And so when the time came, there was actually 50 spots in line, mine being number 40, we all sort of kind of lined up. However, they did keep a good organization. They called it by tens, and then they did it within like two different rows, which was pretty good. And then they also had another sort of support for the actual customers that was just trying to get in, get their food, and get out. So that was pretty good as well. However, when you really think about it, like this whole day is like an absolute like nightmare for some of these employees that work for McDonald's. I really feel for them because I worked in fast food at one point when it was super, super busy, but I cannot imagine something that's super limited and everyone wants all at once that comes out in one certain time. I could not imagine what stress they was under. I, I cannot imagine. And so, like I said, when the time came, we slowly lined up. The very first person that actually got some of the sauce, luckily they let me take a good picture of it. You can see the expiration date, the ingredients, and also here's another card that actually came with the sauce. However, it really sucks because not only was this person letting everyone know that they actually got this sauce, they was really, really trying to sell this sauce in that McDonald's. He was offering five thousand dollars. There is no way I would ever see anyone dropping five thousand dollars on a packet of sauce even though I guarantee somebody is crazy enough to do this. And here's another story of what happened during the line. So they called one person's number however they kind of stepped out for a little bit and this person was holding their spot in line and they also had went through the line and got themselves some sauce. And so a weird thing they did say that if you came through the line already you could not go through again which is kind of a good thing since there was only so limited. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. I should throw this in there as well. The night before when I called him and also when I got there, they said that there was... 20 packs. However, when it came down to it, I have no idea what happened, but apparently 10 of those packs disappeared and there was only 10 left. And this was before the sort of thing started, so I have a feeling that some of the employees was actually holding back, which is really, really unfortunate for the customers, but I mean, you know, whatever. They're under some stress as well, but you know, I wanted some Szechuan sauce as well. So anyways, what I was going to say, the person that was holding their spot in line for their friend, their time came up and obviously they were not there. One lady, she actually went up to this guy and said, hey, would you not just give it to me and basically say a few to their friend? But he kind of misheard her and he thought that she was going to go and get his stuff for him and then give it to him since obviously he couldn't go back through the line. However, no, that's not the case. She was wanting to get her stuff. And keep in mind, this is like really like in the teens so they still had the sauce, they still had the posters, they had everything. What was really unfortunate, he actually handed it to her by accident without giving approval and she would not give it back. Another man offered him a hundred dollars for his spot in line and he was going to take it. But like I said, the woman would not give him his token back. I felt so, so bad for him. And to make matters worse, the guy ended up paying the lady $100 for her, well, his token in line. So, not only did he lose his friend's spot in line, but he lost $100. And his friend also lost the Szechuan sauce or poster, whatever he was trying to get. He tried to tell management that the lady stole it from him, but they would not do anything. Even though, which was funny because they literally just told him that no, he couldn't go back through the line because he just went through. So you would think that maybe they would do something or say like, hey, we know that you just literally just said, hey, could I get this for my friend? And we can go. But no, they just let the lady take it and then the guy took it and there you go. And so as soon as the lady got her hundred dollars, she took out the building and drove away. I mean, you really feel bad for him, but I mean, he, I'm sure whatever he bought, I'm sure he's going to end up going and selling. That's going to be my next topic when I want to talk about. It's really unfortunate because all of these sauces that have been sold today are most likely all going up on eBay. If you go on eBay right now and look up 
up Szechuan sauce and click like newly listed. There is so many people just trying their hardest to make some bank off this sauce. And I guarantee, like I was mentioning about how the manager actually, or the store actually lost 10 of the packs apparently, I guarantee somebody from the employees or the management is trying to sell these sauces. If not, then they're keeping it for themselves or who knows. And so as you can imagine, the sauces themselves, they didn't make it past the first like teens. And then the posters later, like they didn't get past like 25. This is the, the number I'm talking about is the spot in line, by the way. And so my number being 40, I was actually able to obtain one of the stickers. It's not the Szechuan sticker, but I mean, I took whatever I could get out of a two hour long trip. And this is a side little rant. You had to buy some of the tenders, the brand new chicken tenders, and that's all you could buy to get whatever the items are. You have to buy one of these sizes of these chicken tenders to get something. And so I did, and I waited and I waited and I waited. 40 minutes later I started seeing some of the people that was behind me actually get their order. So I started wondering okay what in the world is going on. I, I sort of asked them I was like hey is my number on the board still? And they said no your your order doesn't exist anymore. What? How does somebody how does how does that happen? So in a total of standing there for 40 minutes my order had disappeared. I, I don't I don't understand but they did end up making my order really quick right then it took like 10 seconds I want to say all they did was just throw the tenders in the thing and there you go and a funny enough story I actually loaded up on some sweet and sour and some barbecue sauce I really hope this is what people is saying that somewhat tastes similar to it I'm gonna mix it all together and I'm gonna be like yeah I, I got I got the sauce so to sum up my whole day we had to Deception, people stealing spots in line and selling them for a hundred dollars. Greed, management and employees keeping half of their product for their own personal uses or whatever they want to make out of it. And the actual customers that take it and put it on eBay for $500. And Szechuan sauce. That unfortunately was never to be seen again. Until Burger King actually replicates the recipe and puts it worldwide. Wow, this sauce is f amazing you said it was promoting a movie so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and possibly subscribe for mostly gaming content if you would like to hear me rant about szechuan sauce and rick and morty all day uh, uh, just uh, let me know i don't know so thank you for watching and goodbye